Hey YouTubers and welcome back to this channel. I'm excited to say that I received a vintage vacuum tube in the mail. It's basically a diode. Here it is. That thing that you see there was what was used as a diode in the old days. And it looks in really good condition. I got it off of eBay for about eight or nine dollars. And the reason I got it is I want to test it to see if it can make x-rays. So uh, what I plan to do with this in this experiment is to put about 20 or 30 kilovolts across it and to evaluate for x-ray generation. Now the high voltage equipment used to activate this tube may also produce some RF disturbance. So I'm using this unit here which costs about $150 as my Geiger counter. It's a digital Geiger counter. It does not have a window, so it's all encased in plastic. So it will not pick up things like alpha rays or low energy beta, but it will pick up gamma and x-rays. And um, you can see the background radiation right there. It's about 20 counts a minute in this garage where I'm going to be doing this test. So before we do it, what I'm going to do is use this. I'm just going to put the high voltage electrodes on the plastic straw and crank it up to see if we get any disturbance that might account for any abnormal activity that we see. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So here's the output of the power supply. Put across that piece of inert plastic. There's our background showing about 15 counts a minute. And we're going to crank up the voltage on this area so we get about 20 or 30 kilovolts on that on the on the output there the red and the black wire so here it goes it's cranked up real good got about 30 kilovolts on it at least I'm not seeing or hearing any abnormal RF disturbance so that is actually a good sign. So let's just take a look at this. Let's focus on it. I'm actually seeing about 12 counts a minute on it. So basically, it's not producing any RF disturbance. And that's about the distance that the vacuum tube is going to be away from it. So right there, like that. So okay, now let's try the vacuum tube with the same setting. Okay, now I have the vacuum tube connected up and ready to roll, have the Geiger counter. Everything's in the same position as it was for the blank experiment without the Geiger, without the uh, vacuum tube. So let's uh, make sure that we can see the counts a minute on this camera. It's not showing up real well, so let me just move this around. I think that's a bit better. So you're pretty much seeing background counts there. And now what I'm gonna do is crank up the voltage and let's see what happens. I'm standing back because distance is good protect is a good protector for radiation. Here goes. I can really hear that thing clicking. Wow. I had that thing on for just a really short time. I'm at 4,986 CPM, so a whopping great amount of radiation, X-ray radiation. Now I'm gonna put some barriers and see how good the barriers are for stopping it. So whopping big, big amount there. basically 5,000 CPM. Not a safe dose by any means, but I only ran it for a really short time. So um, I'm gonna let this thing stabilize a little bit, and then I'm gonna put different types of barriers in and see what those barriers do. So here's my tube. And towards the end, we'll see what the glass does. When it's, uh, when it's got voltage on it. 
Now I've got a piece of wood there. We're going to see what the wood does. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot with x-rays. I'm going to run it for a shorter time this time because I don't want to get myself bombarded. So let's go. I'm going to crank it up right now. Basically it does nothing, it doesn't seem to stop it. Now let's try aluminum. Okay, here I have a sheet of, sheet of aluminum. Let's look at this. Here it goes. So it does not stop and lets, lets a lot of them through. I ran it at a lower voltage actually this time. Okay, now I've got a sheet of copper. There's a vacuum tube again. I'm expecting that the only thing that's going to stop this is about half an inch of lead. But anyway, let's take a quick peek, make sure that you can see the count from it clearly. There it is. All right, here it goes. Standing back here. I'm going to crank up the power. Here it goes. I saw a little bit of arcing inside the um, tube, and there is radiation getting through, but not quite as much is able to make it to the counter. So the copper does actually attenuate a good bit of the x-rays, so that's a good sign. Now we're going to just take a quick look at the thermionic tube in the dark to see what it looks like when it's generating x-rays. This experiment is just to see if there's any uh, fluorescence or glowing of the glass that you sometimes see with these kind of tubes. I'm not seeing a whole lot of any. I'm seeing a bit of uh, glowing inside the, uh, like the cathode. Actually, there is a bit of bluish glow to the glass too. You can just see it. It's very subtle. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, so you can produce quite a few x-rays from a simple vintage uh, rectifier tube, as you can see here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back for more videos.